15 minutes time. That's how you've been getting in touch all morning with photos of items that you want valued. Very popular item, this one. Uh, Dan Hatfield is here now to help. So good to see you. Dan, good morning. Let's get straight on to our first yeah. caller, first of all. We've got Louise, who's on the line. Good morning, Louise. Good morning, Holly. How are you I'm doing, Louise? Louise. Lovely You're to right. talk to you. So what have you got that you would like valuing? Right, well, my mother was a mystic and she left me a jewellery box. And in that jewellery box was mystical rings and mystical necklaces. Oh. And she always used to do fortune telling with this ring on. So she's very connected to this jewellery box as I'm always connected to jewellery. So I feel energy with jewellery as opposed to the monetary value. OK. Um, oh, that's a right treasure yeah, trove. Yeah. I'm literally looking at everything going, oh, my God, look at all those things. I know what you mean, though. They sort of hold an energy, don't they, I feel? Yeah. So, yes, they do, Holly. Yeah. This, this is very interesting. So this is, this is sort of a pawnbroker's dream because mm -hmm. when, when something <laughs> like this comes in, we like to get our hands on it, have a look at what everything's worth. And, you know, I can see here we've got some gold, uh, we've got some rings, we've got some, some rings at the top which aren't diamonds, they're just cubic zirconia. So they're not real diamonds, but they're worth yeah. the, the value of gold. Now, mm -hmm. some of this stuff we could sell as items, other stuff we might sort of melt and recycle, if you will. Um, so, yeah, how much do you reckon all this gold's worth then, Louise? Well, for me, um, as I say, it's very much the energy value cause, because people come to me with a ring or a necklace and I pick up energies and I clean the, um, the jewellery to sort of re-energise them. So I would say they're probably worth, what, about... £200, £300, £400? Pounds. I don't know. I've not but put a you, value on it. But to it is worth a whole lot more than that. So I yeah, would, I would keep hold of that because that's, you know, that's well, your she, mum's treasure. She might not do when she finds out the value. Oh, why? Dan, well, you always do this. You tease us with this. <laughs> if you have a look at it. So, look, I can't get my whole hands on on it, but if I'm thinking that it's about 100 to 150 grams of gold, some of it might be 9 carat, some of it might be 18 carat. Gold at the moment is about 18 pounds a gram. So right. if you weighed all that up, you'd be looking at about two to 3,000 pounds just here. Louise. Is that <laughs> Louise? We got wow. ourselves a problem, Louise. Louise, you're still there, Louise. <laughs> um, you know, I'm very, 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 very shocked because underneath that, there was a, an old picture as well, and I don't know whether anybody got a sense of picture. Oh, so let's have a look at the picture. Let's look have a look. At that. So this is the painting ah, here. Yeah. Is what, Liverpool? What's this? OK, that's so... The, that's the, the uh, library building. Yeah. Yes, building. and this looks to me like it is a Lowry. Now, wow. Yes. Now, I can see that the scribble here, that's Lowry's signature. Now, I'm not saying that this definitely is Lowry. I would need to have a look at this. And Louise? Read everything. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, sit down, Louise. <laughs> this is all I can say. My mother, this is very strange because my mother is my spirit guide, so she would actually have a Lowry for me. Yeah, well, it looks like Lowry. Now, the thing is with this... <sighs> There are a few things that I'm kind of a little bit worried about. Now, the smoke is billowing to the right-hand side. Lowry usually has smoke coming out of the left-hand side. Potato, uh, potato. Well, yeah. Um, and also, the, <laughs> the, 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 the shading on the water is a little bit different to how Lowry would do it. I'm not 100% saying this is Lowry. I'm 50-50 on this. However, I would be happy to meet with you and have a look at this just to verify it. If it is a Lowry, it's not one of his stickmen Lowrys, which they are worth a fortune, but this could still be worth six to seven thousand pounds. Six to <laughs> seven. Yeah, that's oh exactly. Wow. So I would oh I need to verify this first. I'd need to have a look at it because you know it Hard looks tell. up, but there's a lot of fakes out there. Lowry Lowry did ten thousand pieces of work <laughs> during his lifetime. Mm. So but, yeah. Louise, we'll hook you up with Dan. Yeah. And yeah. then you can, oh have my goodness. you can have a chat I just about love this. That. All right. I need to have a trip to London with it. Say that again. I said I need to have a trip to London with it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. Definitely. <laughs> thanks, uh, Louise. Thanks, Louise. Thank you. Thanks. Sally's Bye. next up. Hey, Sally. Hi there. Hey, Hi, how everyone. are you? Sally, you have a... I'm great, thanks. Your late grandmother's mirrors, is that right? That's oh, wow. right, yeah. So they were, they were... Oh, God. They were bought in the 90s, I believe, my uncle said, for about £200. And uh, when she died... I think one of them was chips, so they were going to just skip them. And I grabbed them out of the skip. And, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd get in touch and see if Dan can tell me anything about them, how well, much they might be worth. Thanks, Sally. 
Very interesting. Um, so these mirrors are beautiful. Yeah. Uh, very intricate. Oh. Now, I would need to have a look at these again in person to make sure they are what I think they are. But have you got sweet tea at hand? Have you got a seat to sit down? Because you oh might be in God. shock. Oh if you oh were no. going to throw, if these were going to be thrown away and these were going to be in the skip, that would have been a travesty. Um, by the design, they are Rococo in design. Now, what I mean by that is we're looking at about mm -hmm. 1750. They're George II. Oh, wow. Very beautiful detail here with the with the leaves <laughs> and the bowl yeah. and the fruit. Um, and I can I can date it to about 1740 to 1750. Shut up. After that would have been very columnized oh with the God. with the with the frames. Um, now Mirrors back then were worth a fortune. They were yeah. like the Rolex or the Rolls Royce of their time. Right. Because, you know, they were a status symbol. Not yeah. everyone could have a mirrors, mirror. Mirrors, yeah. Now, so the, one. the value on yeah. this, if, if it is what I think it is, and remember, I have to have a look at this in person, and I, I will do that after the show. I reckon you would be looking at about six to eight thousand pounds on these. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. You nearly put those <laughs> in a skip. I, I, need, I do need to sit down. That's incredible. Sally, if this is real, you rescued these. What? Well done. Yeah, oh, my gosh. I'm shaking. Yeah, I bet. Oh, I bet that's a lot of money. Well, listen, well done well for done. saving them. Wow. Well done to your oh, grandmother you for so buying much. such quality so We'll hook you up with Dan oh. so you can have a chat to so hopefully verify oh, this. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Well done. Oh, Dan, my gosh. Wow. Do you hear that a lot? People are like, well, I, I never understand why people just chuck stuff on skips, because, you yeah. can, A, you can recycle it, but... but uh, do you, do you, have you rescued things from skips before? It happens all the time. So, the, people that rescue, they're called skip rats, actually. So, people will go around and find things from skips and they'll make an absolute yeah, Good for them, yeah. yeah. Good for them. It's so worth having a look. Don't throw anything no, away. No, Don't. you just never know. What about this, then? We've got Jan on the line. Hi, Jan. Oh, hi there. Good morning. morning hi. Jan. Good to talk to you. Now, what have you got? I have a Gucci bottle opener made oh. in Italy. It's in the shape of a fish. Oh, and it. it was a gift. And I, I was just wondering what the value would be. OK, really it's, nice. it's a nice little thing, isn't it? Very yeah. interesting yeah. piece. Very interesting piece. So this, I can date this back to about the 1980s, when Gucci right. were really coming into their own. This is when they just stopped. They weren't just about couture at this point. They were about sort of all the add-ons that you mm -hmm. could make the money with. The 80s were all about making money, and that's what Gucci were doing. Um, they're very, very sought after, and you can see the Gucci there. Oh, yeah. They're very, very sought after, these. Now, millennials have really jumped onto the Gucci bandwagon, and they've in that means that, you know, they've increased in price dramatically. 55% of anyone who buys Gucci at the moment are millennials, and sales for Gucci have doubled over the past four or five years. Mm. So it's really Big. in vogue. Mm -hmm. It's massive. Um, this is interesting. It's made of pewter. It's beautifully designed. And, you know, the great thing as well, it, it can be used. Mm. That's the important thing. Um, in terms of value, so it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because bottle openers, you would you normally presume, would be worth sort of 10, 15, 20 quid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is Gucci. This is Gucci. And it's a fish. And it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The two together Come mean on. big money. <laughs> um, I'm going to value that about three to four hundred pounds. Whoa. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was expecting that. Very nice. good. Is that what, what you were expect? expecting? Yeah. No, I wasn't expecting that, that at all. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, very good. Jan, how, nice how much do you want to keep it to open your brewskis with and how much do you want to get rid of it? That's the question. <laughs> well, it can open a lot of bottles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Good Thanks, to talk Jan. to you. Thank you. Uh, Faye is in Cardiff. Now, I love these stories, Faye. You found something while digging in your garden. Hi, good morning, both. Yes, Hi. I did. Good morning, Faye. Hi. Um, yeah, so um, myself and my husband, Gareth, uh, we bought a new home in February 2020 uh, during lockdown. Yeah. And whilst renovating our new garden, uh, whilst digging up the garden, we came across this chain. Um, so we just wanted to find out a little bit Ooh. more about it, <gasps> just to see probably... Um, I'm just curious about the memories it might hold or if it does have any sentimental value. Mm. Every single link has got a hallmark on it. Yeah. That's the first thing I noticed. That, Holly. Yeah. yeah. That, Holly, is very intuitive. Good I eyes, Willoughby. I'm a fan she of has. the Antiques Roadshow. I've seen a few in my time. <laughs> That's absolutely right. So this is an Albert chain. All right. First introduced into the UK by Prince Albert, who was the husband to Queen Victoria. Was it his? 
<laughs> Let's you know, say it was. How much did I give her? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be worth a lot. Yeah. Um, but, it, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not massive, but I can tell that it is silver because it's got the sterling silver mark there, the lion that I can see. Can you see the lion yeah. there on every yeah. link? That was introduced in 1822, so that we can date this yeah. after 1822, uh -huh. but I would say before 1900, so quite a big... Okay. Area, but I'd probably say about 1870 on this, which I mean, for finding that in your garden, 70 that's not bad, is it? Yeah. How, how, how well. much? How much do you reckon? I love how much you love this yeah, item. You love <laughs> the whole mark. How much? Do you reckon? I reckon is it so it's silver then? Yeah, obviously. It's silver. So I reckon 800, 1200. How much do you reckon, Dermot? I would, I would have gone lower, like a couple of hundred. Yeah. You're, you're is right, it? Actually. Yeah, yeah. It oh, is. Oh, don't ask me stuff I'm like sorry. that. I'm so. But you know, if it would have been gold, you'd be. You'd, you'd have been be, up there. You'd be there with that. Okay. With silver, okay. slightly less. Okay, about two hundred so quid. About two hundred. Yeah. Still not bad nice for a dig in the garden. Great find. Well done. Thank Thanks, Faye. You. Loved that. We'll do that again soon. Because I don't <laughs> every day. Just don't ask me. A <laughs> uh, quick word about tomorrow's show when Martin Lewis is back to help solve your money matters. Yeah, if you've got a question about your loans, your mortgages, credit cards, any financial dilemma, send your questions to Martin. Along with the contact details this morning. At uh, ITV.com, and we need this by about eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Right.